it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome, welcome back. This Vera Bradley video is a haul video from the retail side with the brand new Disney 100 Classics. Um, there are two patterns. There's the Classics Swirl, and then there's the Classics on the Green. They are very similar, and the colors are the same, but slightly different depiction of the characters and whatnot. But let's dive right in. I got eight items, and... Only one of them's a gift. <laughs> yeah, I like Disney. And I love black patterns with bright um, prints. So very bold colors and things, and that is exactly what this is. If you're not familiar or not aware, this pattern is actually kind of modeled after the Tavern on the Green pattern of Vera, which is way back in the, I guess, 90s. And unfortunately, I don't have any of it. I've always admired it, but it's very hard to find. It was before my time, before I discovered Vera, and any of the items I have found in it were either way too worn um, or way too overpriced, and I just, I couldn't bring myself to do it. I wish that I had found something. I know there's been good deals. I don't stock third-party sites and, and stuff, but I should, but anyway. Um, so for those of you who have that, this is a beautiful, beautiful coordinating pattern with that. Um, we'll talk about some other potential coordinating things later. But beautiful anyways, right up my alley, bright colors on a black background. It's florals and characters. And at first glance, honestly, you just say, oh, that's very pretty. And then you look at it and you're like, hey, that's Disney everything. It's super cool. So it does feature Winnie the Pooh, Bambi, Snow White, Peter Pan, and Alice in Wonderland. There's probably other stuff in there too, but those are the big things that have jumped out at me. You can read up on it too on the website. So I got two zip IDs, one for me and one for my sister-in-law who happens to be a huge, huge fan of Tinkerbell. So interestingly enough, our pattern placements are very similar. I did order from my store, my store, in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. That's the Mayfair Mall. Fear Bradley store. They always send a card with it. It says, thank you oh so much for ordering with us. We hope you're enjoying all your beautiful items. Have a magical day, love Anna. Thank you to Anna and the awesome ladies out there in Wauwatosa for always taking such great care of me. Um, shout out to Perpetual Mommy who also coincidentally gave a holler to my store and got some great treatment for herself. So yay. Um, she's a fellow YouTuber too, so if you haven't heard of her, check her out. She does a lot of Jujube specifically, but also does other stuff. Um, so anyways, there we go. So I got a card, and they are very, very helpful in picking out pattern placements. Patterns like this, it could be, um, for some people, make it or break it. Now, I just have certain preferences of things over other things. Like, I prefer not having a lot of headless people or creatures. I also am a huge fan of Tigger. Now, I like all of these characters, all of these um, classic Disney things, but Tigger, Tigger's my guy. So I wanted to have some Tigger. And on a small item like a Zip ID, I thought that might be difficult, but it really wasn't. Um, so the one they picked for me has almost centered the Winnie the Pooh clan here with Piglet, Pooh, Tigger, and Eeyore. And then, um, it has Snow White, it has Bambi, it has a, one of the dwarf's feet, but I mean, it has the dwarf, I, I mean, it has a really good representation of most of what is offered here. On the back side, you have uh, another dwarf, you've got some Alice in Wonderland inside, you've got the Peter Pan Lost Boys, so pretty good, actually, um, with uh, not too much cut off terribly, so it's all... Very cool. I'm very happy with that. And uh, as soon as I said I wanted Tigger, she's like, we already have one for you. It was perfect. And she was right. Thank you, Anna. But the one for my sister-in-law, being a Tinkerbell fan, I wanted to try and get a Tinkerbell centered. Um, now, this one isn't centered, but has a pretty good depiction. Um, obviously, it's not cut off, so you have a Tinkerbell in the middle. Um, it's just not vertically in the middle. You got the Pooh Clan, you've got Alice in Wonderland, you've got the bottom half of the Snow White stuff. And then on the back side, you've got Bashful, another dwarf, and some other miscellaneous things from Snow White on the interior pattern. Um, but classic zip ID, you know, it's just a regular zip ID. It's got the two sections, the ribbon zipper pull, 
you've got the clear ID side and then you have a divider and then you have the back side of the pouch. So yay for that. So this one's for my sister-in-law. She knows it's coming and I'm sure she's seeing it now. So here you go, Dom, your Tinkerbell for you. We'll be in the mail next week, maybe, maybe. And happy early birthday to you. All right, so that is the zip IDs. Then I also got the clip and zip pouch. I, I love these inside bigger bags um, because it's a black bag or um, a black background. It could go with any of my plain black bags. It can go with most colorful things. It's perfect in a pattern, palooza, mix up, uh, mashup of things. Um, but this one too, I got very, very lucky with the Tiggers. I mean, not one, not two, but three of them. So I have Tigger up here in the corner. I have Tigger down here, and then I have a Tigger on the back. Other things, yeah, we got pretty much the same characters that we've already seen. But here's a good look at the Snow White cluster with two of the dwarves there. And... Yeah, it, it repeats a pattern. So if you're seeing two of something on a piece this small, you can see how tight the repetition of the pattern is. I'm not complaining about that. I think that actually is kind of good because that means you're gonna get something you like on there, potentially. And we are doing these in order of small to big, just in case you're wondering, uh, because it does show some of the things. And all of the small pieces were in the um, classic swirl pattern. But now here's something that is different. And I don't know why, because these are technically the same pattern. I really don't understand the consistency. And here's why. Because if you look at this one and you see the poo cluster, so you have Piglet, Pooh, Tigger, and Eeyore together, and you have these flowers around it. Now look at that cluster on this one. And just to confirm, the tick. The tag says it's classic swirl, same pattern. But you have Tigger over here by himself, which I love. I was, um, when I asked for Tigger on the zip ID, I thought this is what I would get. I don't have any complaints. When she showed me that one, I was like, I'll take it, it's beautiful. But that would have been my perfect, perfect placement. But if you look at it, there's Tigger, and then here you have Pooh, Piglet, and Eeyore, and Eeyore's not even touching. So I don't, I mean, this is the same pattern. And it's not just spaced out. So I'm a little confused. I checked the tags three times this morning and they both say classic swirl. Um, so I don't know. Kind of feels like to me that that's um, a mistake. This one is actually classics on the green. And this one is classic swirl. And the reason I say that is because not only is the Tigger and the Pooh cluster different, but look at this one, the bigger piece, which is the RFID wristlet, by the way. It has these other colorful things inserted in the spaces. This one does not. So I think this one's on the green. It, it's, I think that's the difference. That being said, it does also have that regular Pooh cluster on it as well. So this may be an, an interesting accidental piece. And the reason I say that is because it is labeled as classic swirl, which is what you see here, which matches this, you know, classic swirl, classic swirl. But perhaps accidentally on the other side, there is a piece of fabric from classics on the green. Now, again, I'm not complaining at all. I, this is a special piece because it has my perfect Tigger. It has the beautiful on the green pattern. It obviously coordinates perfectly because they're made together. Um, but I just find that really interesting little oopsie, you know? Um, if you have any of these, or if you know anything of, of these, have seen them, please tell me if any of yours have that dual pattern on them because I don't think that's purposeful. I am, sometimes a happy accident is a win. So yay, and uh, that's very cool. Okay. Something else I see on here that wasn't on the other is you have Rue over here bouncing with Tigger bouncing on his tail. So you have Rue, which isn't in the other pattern. Um, pretty much everything else, I think. Mostly the same. Okay, anyway. All right, so that's a lot about that item. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't show you the item itself. So this is the RFID wristlet. 
It has a zipper pocket on the front, so it's kind of like the front zipper slits, if you remember those. It has that. It does have the ditzy inside, which is another beautiful thing we'll look at a little more on the bigger pieces. Um, so the zipper pocket, and then it has a removable wristlet strap, which is great. It has a zipper that comes over and down, about two thirds of the way down. What that does is it allows you to really get inside this piece. It is RFID, it has built-in wallet, so it has quite a bit of spaces. You have two clear ID windows, behind that you have two more card slots, and then you have a big cash door slip. On the opposite side, you have another cash drawer in the back, and then in front of it you have eight card slots, four and four. And it's all in black, so you can't see that very well, but there's all those card slots in there. So a lot, a lot of card slots on the inside. The pouch itself does have some depth to it, so you really can put a lot in this. Now, I don't generally plan or use these for a wallet or wristlet. I certainly could. I might put some things in there occasionally, but I usually use them as a pouch inside other bags for other reasons. It doesn't matter. You use it how you want. Um, it is strictly a wristlet, or you can take that off. It doesn't have two loops to make a hanging thing or um, a wallet kind of thing. I guess if you really wanted, you could put a loop here, like put a rivet or something, and and make it into like a diagonal hanging crossbody thing. I, I really don't think it's worthwhile. There's other bags to do those things, but anyways, there you go. So that is the RFID wristlet. Um, no change to that except for that accidental pattern. You can see the spacing. Honestly, this is my preferred pattern just because the, the spacing and colors look at a glance better. Anyway, okay. This is the cord organizer. Again, it is in the classic swirl. And once again, I got really lucky. You can see I've got a couple of Tigger clusters, the poo clusters um, there, and then you got Alice in Wonderland twice. So you can see again how quickly, there's Snow White and Snow White, how quickly and tightly the pattern repeats. It's not a problem because when you look at it, you don't go, oh my God, that's all repeating. If you look at it, yeah, you see it, but it doesn't jump out at you as the first thing. It's just black with these bright, pretty florals, and then you look and see the characters. So again, here on this side, I've got multiple clusters of each. I do have some headless um, Snow White and this Alice in Wonderland on the top on this side. But on the back, you can even see, like up here, something we haven't seen yet. You have Thumper with the Bambi. And what else have we not seen? That's mostly it. But for you Cheshire cat lovers, he's on there. <laughs> Inside this pouch, this one zips all the way down both sides. So it zips all the way to the bottom, but it doesn't lay flat. It actually has a really nice gusset on both sides. So it will stand up like this and you can get down into it. It is a cord organizer. It is optimized for that, but it is great for just about anything. It's a perfect catch-all pouch for me. You've got two mesh elastic slips on this side. On the opposite side, you have two elastics. You have a skinny one here that's about a finger, you know, so a pen slot or a, maybe a vertical round battery or a chapstick or something there. You can put a wider slot here, wrap up your cord, stick it behind that elastic, something like that. You have over here a triple pocket. So you have a slip, a zip, and a clip. So it's a snap, why I call it the clip. But you can clip your cord, loop it through there, and that will hold it securely. And then you have the zipper pocket, and behind that you have the slip pocket. So obviously since they're stacked positions there, you can't put too much because they share space, but it is a pretty good size piece. So it has some depth to it. You can definitely use that pretty well for a variety of things. And this is our first better look at that interior ditzy pattern. So really it's just a bunch of little iconic things from all the different movies. You've got Alice in Wonderland, you got the Mad Hatter's hat, the clock, the teapot stuff. You've got Winnie the Pooh's honey and some bees. You've got lots of flowers. You've got bird. You've got jewels up here with a mining hammer from our pickaxe from the dwarves. What else have we got in here? You got mushrooms, you got more birdie. Yeah, just a variety of bits and parts from the different things. Great size piece, again, um, not designed as a clutch or anything like that. It is a cord organizer. I, I use it for whatever I want inside my larger bags. 
And since I did get a larger bag, I got I can use all of these pieces in it at one time if I want to like really go matchy matchy. Okay, next item I got is the shorts. Now these I really really like a lot. They're the pajama shorts. I will wear them as shorts outside as a regular thing. I'll wear them to play pickleball. I'll wear them to go camping. I'll wear them at the park. I don't care because they're shorts. They don't look like scream pajamas to me. Um, I did get them too big for me, but that's fine because uh, I got the same size in the, what was the other most recent one I got? Anyways, it fits great. It, it's big on me, but that's how I like it. And it has a drawstring, so I'm not worried that the elastic doesn't quite fit. But they are knit, so they are that super stretchy, very comfortable fabric, very lightweight. It's not see-through or anything. It's not that light, but they are lightweight, which is perfect for Arizona or hot places like Florida or California or Disneyland or Disney World, if that's where you're going with it. But another thing I noticed... Okay, Kelly, come here. She keeps coming by and licking my elbow. <laughs> She's a little out of sorts right at this moment because I've been packing this morning because we're going camping, well, glamping. We're going out in the RV for the weekend with some friends not far away. Um, and yeah, so she doesn't know what, and I can't explain it to her. She just knows I'm running around putting things together, which means someone's leaving. She just doesn't know she's in there too. Anyways, so that's why she's extra licky. Stop licking my elbow. Yeah, I know. Um, anyways, so... This is the on the green pattern. But do you see what I see? And that is no Tigger. Why? Why did Tigger get dropped? I mean, if you look, even just this simple small piece, you've got the Pooh cluster, Piglet and Pooh, Tigger and Eeyore. But when you look on here, it's the same cluster, but no Tigger. Piglet, Pooh, and Eeyore. And Tigger isn't anywhere else on the pattern, like at all. So that's pretty sad. Also, Peter Pan, uh, not as much. You have Tinkerbell in here, but you don't have the Lost Boys. You don't have Peter Pan. And really, so far, we haven't even seen Peter Pan in any of my placements. Just Tinkerbell. Hmm. Anyway, so there you go. I wonder if on this side I had any. Any other... Nope. I do like the, the on the green slightly better. Just the space, it just looks better. Okay. Yeah, so yay for the shorts. Boo for no tigger. Like, I don't understand. Same fabric, right? Same pattern. Not same, same. Okay, the next item I got is the plush row. I'm not going to open this up because you've already seen it on the thumbnail. Anyways, you can go online and see the full thing. They are 100% the same, each to each. So um, I don't want to open it up because I want to preserve it until I go to use it and or gift it. Because, as always, that is an option. Um, but it is an all-inclusive. So it has all the characters. Like right here, for example, you can see Peter Pan characters right on the front. You've got the florals, of course. You've got actually Peter Pan right here. And he's not cut off on the blanket. It's just because of the fold. You've got the Lost Boys over here. You've got Tinkerbell. So just by the way it's folded, that's what you got. Here's Wendy. Oh, but all the characters are on there. So that is fun. All right. Oh, sorry, Kelly. I scared you. All right. The last item I got is the campus backpack. And the backpack, the backpack, the blanket, uh, and... One of the other items, what was it? it? Was the green on the green? This is on the green. So again, you can see the pattern differences. I'm not going to show that piece because that is different. But side by side, so you have here the swirl, here the green. You could see again what I was talking about those different colored dots that are in the pattern. To me, there's just something artistic about that that works. Um, this is beautiful, but I like this better. And it's not just because I've got my perfect Tigger right there. Um, but it just the pattern itself, it just flows better with those spaces and colors. There's, again, that side so you can see it is the on the green with my oopsie piece. Anyway, okay. I don't mean to harp on it. I just like to share the things I'm noticing 
as I look at it. I only glanced at it um, when I first opened it yesterday when it arrived, and the same things popped out at me then, so there you go. All right, so on here, we do have a repeating pattern, which is expected on a piece this large, but it's not terribly repetitive, and it doesn't jump out at you as choppy. Like, you can't just add a glance, see, okay, that's the same as this down here, and it is. You've got the two flowers, two flowers, red flower, red flower. That's okay, it's broken up by this piece in the middle here that has, you know, Wendy flying, it's got Tigger, it's got Pooh and Piglet and Eeyore, and none of them are really cut off, which is great. We've got the Lost Boys up here. We've got Tinkerbell very prominently on the top quarter. We've got some of the dwarves. We've got this chipmunk. So nothing is totally headless or choppy on there. I really love that. Down below, we do have a little bit of the, the Peter Pan kids flying. Um, Michael, or whatever his name is, is a little bit cut off there. But otherwise, pretty comprehensive and pretty good. We've got Snow White and dwarves. We got the chipmunk, we've got Peter Pan. That's the first time on my pieces you actually see him and he has a central position, which is really cool. Tinkerbell, of course, right above him and then the kids flying over here. We've got the Lost Boys and we've got some Alice in Wonderland in the bottom and Bambi over here. So I'm really happy with it that I got all of the pieces of the pattern in one or more of my pieces. And I think that central Tinkerbell and Peter Pan and Tigger is perfect for me for me. Other things I look at on the backpack for pattern placement is on the one side, and there I have Wendy and the boys flying with flowers, and then on the other side, guess who? Tigger! Tigger centered on the pocket, which is awesome. And because it's a backpack, and you're gonna be wearing it and wandering around, probably at the park or wherever, I also look at the straps, what's gonna be showing, and guess what, I got my special Tigger right there and some other great stuff on here. And on this side, a beautiful Snow White and the Dwarves right in the middle there on that. And then some more Tigger at the bottom. So overall, win, win, win on the pattern placements. Thank you again to Anna for her help on picking from the items they had. If you're going someplace and can't find what you want there because each of the stores only got a certain amount of the pieces, if you can't find what you want, call another store. Vera advertises their ability and willingness to do video shopping with you. And you may have to schedule it or whatever, but that allows you to pick from what inventory each store has. And so you may have to call around a bunch of stores to find what you're looking for, but at least you can find it. Because if you're like me, you don't even have a store in your state that you can look at. So that means you're all online or telephonic orders. And... Um, Without assistance, you're ordering in the blind, and again, you're gonna get a great piece, no matter what, but if you're looking for certain characters, that's the way I would recommend going about it. Anyway, okay, um, so the campus backpack is a standard campus backpack. All of these items are recycled cotton, of course, um, because that's where we're at with Vera. It has a front zipper pocket here. Inside, you have that ditzy pattern, but no organization, it's just a nice big pocket. You have this zip around front pocket, your organization pocket, Inside, of course, you have, again, that ditzy pattern. Here's a good look at it. I know the flap is upside down, but you can still get the idea. Inside here, you have a lot of different slots. You have a slip here, slip here, clear ID in front, big slip here, one, two, three pen slots, and a card slot here. So that's that. And then the pocket itself has, of course, um, quite a little bit of gusset. It's about two fingers thick width. Um, there so it has space to put other pouches or um, like school stuff maybe your um, things like a pencil sharpener if you're old school you got um, white out tape things like that um, or pencil pouch or a wallet you can put other things down in that pocket very nicely very easily oops why is that catching up because there's a tag there Zena okay so tags everywhere all right other than that, you have um, the two side pockets, of course. You have the main pocket, and then behind that you have, well, let's go through the main pocket before we move on. The main pocket, as always, is a double zipper. It zips all the way down into just below the elastic on the pocket, so it goes down in there. So it opens up really nice and accessibly inside. And there you get your probably your best look at the ditzy pattern in its entirety. And you can see it, too, repeats. It's a geometric pattern. But it's, it's pretty. It keeps it from being a dark hole with just black. And the colors match the outside colors. 
So no organization on this side. On the back side, you have two mesh elastic pockets up top, and then that is it for this bag. The bag itself has a very large capacity. It is a very good school backpack, travel backpack, weekend bag, park bag. I mean, it's a great universal bag size because um, you don't have to fill it, but you can really use it for a lot of stuff. And there's good pattern placement on the bottom too. All right, so that's the main part of the bag. I got these tags everywhere. I'm gonna zip that up. And then behind that, you have your laptop compartment. So it zips from one side in the corner all the way across and down to the opposite. So it's a up and around. Gives you plenty of accessibility to get into that pocket. It is padded on the both sides and it's a black nylon VB diamond sort of um, material. All right, you do have the top carry handle, which is a um, canvas weave or a cotton type weave, not the seatbelt material, but that style. The straps themselves are padded. They're not quilted, but they are padded and they're ergonomically shaped, which is really comfortable and very nice. The fittings are plastic, but they do hold well and you can adjust them quite a lot. And then there is quilting on the back. Uh, so you're not gonna see it very well because of the pattern, but it has these quilted channels going down that's supposed to improve airflow. Um, but that is padded there from the inside where the laptop compartment is. And it's, some backpacks do have mesh there, not this one of course, and it has a trolley sleeve, which is not very wide. It's shortened here, um, but it has a good trolley sleeve. So if you wanna use it for travel, put it on your luggage um, handle, that works. And this I have a perfect Peter Pan scene with a mix of things um, right here in the middle. And then above that, I have more Peter Pan and Tinkerbell and then a bunch of other stuff. Um, no, no vertical tiggers on the back, but interestingly enough, this trim piece right here that goes along the bottom of the trolley sleeve, I, it's a sideways pattern, so I have Tigger. It looks like he's laying down, but really in this pattern, he's standing up, boinging on his tail. So anyways, I'm happy to see him, even if it's a little bit that nobody will ever see because it's on the back of the bag, but there you go. All right, so. Hey, Kelly, my goodness. Okay. What, did someone walk by? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right, so black pattern with bright florals on the front. One of my all-time favorite Vera Bradley patterns was Midnight with Mickey. Not because it's Disney, but because of what I just said. And so here's a look real quick at the Midnight with Mickey pattern. Um, this was a black background with bright florals. Much brighter in a way than this, but really the colors aren't that different. They're just proportion different. Um, but this is kind of a medallion pattern, but at first glance, like you see this bright colors, you're like, hey, that's pretty. And then you look at it and there's Disney everywhere. You have all these hidden Mickey heads everywhere throughout the pattern. You have actual Minnie and Mickey in some of the medallions. Um, there again, you can see the Mickey heads, but they're, they're discreetly all throughout the pattern, which is kind of cool. Um, even these little green things, that's more Mickey heads. So cool pattern. On the inside of this pattern, it had this floral medallions, which I also liked a lot. And I think if I remember right, the zip ID is in this pattern, not the outside pattern. But beautiful colors matches very nicely with the outside coordination wise. And this was also in the days of coordinating trim. So there you have a trim piece across the front of the bag. So this is also a campus style backpack. It's an older version, so slightly different configuration, but same basic bag. But I got it out just to see, curiously, if a black background, bold color, Disney, Disney would go together. And I think they do go together. I mean, they coordinate, but they're not matchy-matchy at all. But I would certainly use those pieces back and forth between them. Um, because again, I, I think they match in their own way. Okay, one other thing I didn't talk about with this bag before going on to the last thing here is it does have one more pocket on the back, a big zipper here, and it goes all the way across the bag. So it is a big pocket all the way across like that. And you could use that for a discreet, put your valuables, you know, your phone, your wallet, so it's up against your body, not in the pickpocket areas. Um, and hopefully we don't start to have more pickpocketing, but based on things, not to get political, that could be coming our way. More of a problem overseas up till now, but it could happen. 
But one other comparison thing I brought out, again, black backgrounds, bright color florals, Disney, Disney. Um, so I have the Juju Be Amorta Floor. This is the Super Bee, which is a big tote. But it too has all these Mickeys. This one's a lot more subtle Mickeys. And oh, I just have to point this out because I love it. I think um, hidden things sometimes are really fun for me. And you can see these little Mickey silhouettes and whatnot. But you also have a hidden Mickey. So you have a big head right here in the green, and then you have an ear and an ear. And once you've seen it, you can not unsee it. It's hidden throughout the pattern. But you have this big Mickey head with the two ears and the head right in the pattern. Um, that's a side note. I'm not trying to sell you anything, but just one of the things I love about this particular pattern. But looking at this one versus Disney 100, again, I would use the pieces together. They definitely don't coordinate quite as well. But, yeah, they're still right up my alley with things I like. Well, that one's definitely a little farther away, but um, fun, fun. Anyways, just thought I'd share the comparisons with the other recent Disney-type patterns from different, different companies, even. Well, that's enough Disney for this morning. I gotta go, go on camping, and I will take my amped up dog with me. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.